Hey, DV. What have you been up to? Well, I tried to clean the cat box. <laughs> I imagine that was pretty difficult. You need to go do that. It stinks. I'll get to it as soon as I complete these Wheeled Warriors. I thought you said you weren't going to get any more of those. You have enough unfinished projects. That's not true. You never complete anything. The DeLorean hasn't been repaired. You've never finished the BMX. Not to mention you haven't fixed me. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting to all that. If you will not fix the BMX, then perhaps I will. Okay. Oh, before you go, I got something for you to read. You son of a- Despite what I said in the Wheeled Warriors feature video, I made the mistake of trying to complete the Wheeled Warriors collection. And in doing so, I ran into the same problems I mentioned in the original video. There's no definitive guide for the parts and accessories that go to all of these vehicles. Mattel really screwed up with these. Hardly anyone on eBay really knows if they have all the parts for these toys in any given sale. The buyer is just taking chances. Photos of box toys don't help much because the parts are partially obscured, and if the window is the least bit yellowed, you won't be able to tell if the wheels for a specific vehicle are gold or chrome. I've even read blogs where collectors have open, boxed examples they think are correct, but the seller they got them from put accessory pack wheels into the boxes, or incorrectly colored weapons, and the owner has no idea. The best part is that the one website that lists all of the parts for each vehicle does so without any pictures, and they use the goofy names Mattel gave each weapon, so there's no help there. To add even more confusion, Mattel didn't keep things consistent either. Mattel would call the same part different names depending on what vehicle it came with. For example, this part comes with Armed Force, and it's called Mega Rocket. But this very same part comes with Sawboss, but it's not called Mega Rocket, it's called Monster Rocket. It's time for the madness to stop. Based on exhaustive cross-referencing of photos and process of elimination, I've created this guide, which will still probably be wrong somewhere, but it should get us 99% of the way. First, I'm throwing Mattel's accessory names out the window. They're useless. Just because two identical parts are made in different colors doesn't mean that they need different names. So let's rename these pieces. Wheels come in gold and chrome colors and a number of styles. We're going to ID them by their styles. Wheels can be pies, sticks, swirls, bolts, lightnings, gears, cogs, and treads. There are two axles, four point and three point. You have five different pilot figures. Blonde, Red, Black, Brown, and Monster Mind. There are two types of extensions, Axle Extensions and Weapons Extensions. This is a gun. This is a tri-gun. This is a bomb. This is a laser. This is a cannon. This is a tall cannon. This is a rocket. This is a blaster. This is an engine. This is a turbine. This is a missile. This is a crane. This is a radar. This is a hook. Now we'll go through each vehicle, listing all of its unique parts and then the rest of its gear. Armed Force has a gold claw. It also comes with a blonde pilot, a gold trigun, a blue bomb, a black gun, a dark gray laser, a four-point axle, and gold gears, sticks, and swirls. Drill Sergeant has a chrome drill. It also comes with a red pilot, a black cannon, a dark gray rocket, a silver blaster, a chrome engine, a four-point axle, and chrome swirls, bolts, and lightnings. Gun Grinner has a bola arm. 
It also comes with a monster mind pilot, a turbine, a green missile, a tall cannon, two axle extensions, a four-point axle, and chrome swirls, bolts, and pies. Quickdraw has a chrome shield with a mini blaster and a chrome lightning spike. It also comes with a brown pilot, a dark gray missile, a silver crane, two axle extensions, a four-point axle, and chrome bolts, lightnings, and cogs. KO Cruiser has a club arm. It also comes with a monster mind pilot, a bronze laser, a tan gun, a gold rocket, a gray blaster, a four-point axle, and chrome pies, gears, and sticks. Saw Boss has a gold saw arm. It also comes with a monster mind pilot, a tan bomb, a gold radar, a bronze blaster, a silver cannon, a three-point axle, and gold pies, lightnings, and treads. Spike Trike has a chrome grinder with a blue arm and chrome skids. It also comes with a black pilot, a blue cannon, a silver tall cannon, a weapons extension, a three-point axle, and chrome gears, sticks, and treads. Terror Tank has a plant claw. It also comes with a monster mind pilot, a chrome hook, a light gray crane, a light gray trigun, a weapons extension, a three-point axle, and chrome cogs, treads, and sticks. Only Armed Force and Saw Boss come with gold wheel sets outside of the accessory packs. Take note of that. And keep this in mind. Quick Draw has a dark gray missile that looks very close to a light gray missile from the accessory pack. Most of the time, the accessory pack version is substituted on Quick Draws for sale, so beware. There's also a problem with the tall cannons between Spike Trike and Gun Grinner, and the cranes between Quick Draw and Terror Tank. There's a subtle shade difference in their colors. One is a flat light gray, and the other has a hint of graphite, which we're calling silver. With the cranes, you get the added headache of a chrome crane that comes with the accessory packs and is often put with Quick Draw. And sometimes Quick Draw's silvery crane is put with Terror Tank instead of the flat gray crane, or vice versa. Same with the tall cannons for Spike Trike and Gun Grinner. Don't be fooled. Which brings us to the centerpiece of this maelstrom of confusion, the Battle Base. Like the vehicles, the battle base came with a ton of interchangeable accessories that plugged into the various ports on the outer walls of this playset. However, just like the vehicles, figuring out exactly what parts went with the battle base and in what colors is tricky. For one, if you don't have an unopened one, your only reference is this red line illustration on the back of the box. The box proclaims the inclusion of 15 weapons and accessories, not including the human pilot and the monster mind. I had to purchase about seven or eight different lots of parts to gather up everything I thought was included with this toy. Every time I counted, I was either way over 15 parts or way under, and then I would resort and recheck again. I found the parts in orange, gray, and black. Many of the parts are unique to the base and do not come with other toys in the line. A small group of the parts are vehicle weapons, also in orange and black. The drawing is confusing because two of the base weapons are illustrated attached to the weapons rack at a distorted angle, making it nearly impossible to see them, which contributed to my miscounts time and again. I have one weapon in orange and gray, putting my total count to 16 accessories because I cannot find another vehicle that this style of weapon would go with, and I know this orange color was specific to the base. I'm left to assume the bases were packed with weapons that could be made from either color. So here are the 15 weapons you need for the battle base. And here are the additional accessories. I said I wouldn't buy any more of these, and then I reneged on my own promise and entered a world of hurt. Now the only things in this collection I don't have are the two walkers. After this experience, I can tell you I really don't want them. But I've learned the hard way to never say never.